Hello class. Now that we know how to save a document, then there is the need for us to edit the document as well. And why will we edit? Editing is all about making changes or corrections in your document. Sometimes you type, you make a mistake. It can even be grammatical error or the word you might have typed wouldn't be found in the computer's dictionary. For instance, if I am typing, I come from Accra, but I make a mistake and I type, I come I come from Accra. You see from my screen that when I was typing from and even come, I made a mistake. But the software has been structured in such a way that whenever you type a word and the word is not even right, it will highlight it in red. So if you see a red wavy line like I'm seeing here, it means the word we have typed is not found in the computer's dictionary. There are some keywords that were added when Microsoft Word came out. So those words that were not added to the dictionary, whenever you type on the screen, is underlined in red wavy line. So if you want to make the corrections, so now we are editing. There are two ways of doing it. You can either type in knowing very well what the problem is, or you can right click. So using the right mouse button, you right click on it, and it will suggest to you whether you were writing from or form, firm. So these are suggestions for you. And if you think that the word that you were typing is part of those that has been suggested. You select by clicking. Other than that, if you also know very well that the word you have typed is correct, you can ignore. Or, again, if you know it is a right word and always you will be using it again, you can add to the dictionary. But this time we were writing from... So we are editing by selecting the from so that it takes over. Again, if you look at the com, com is a word that can be used here. However, it was a mistake we made. So as we are proofreading, we'll talk about proofreading. We need to add the e to make our statement correct. So I come from Accra. So we have edited. Again, assuming I have typed these statements, I are boys. I are boys. Then enter. There is no way we can say I are boys. So whenever you type and you also see a blue and the old versions of Office, you also see a green. So either one is correct. So if it's a blue or a green line under a text, it means grammatical error. So the red 
is that the word is not found in the computer's dictionary. And the blue wavy line is also called grammatical error. So in this case, we need to make sure we correct. So instead of R, we are saying, even we cannot say I R. So we write, we either write I am able. Okay. Or if we still want to maintain whatever we typed earlier, we can equally do this. So I are boys, the grammatical error is there. We can equally right click and choose the suggested word or we move to ignore ones or we check the grammar. As we said, it's a grammatical error. So basically, these are some of the things that we do. Again, another thing that you should also notice that there are tools we use whenever we are editing. So some of the tools we use when we are editing are here under the home grouping, uh, under the home tab, we have the clipboard groupings. So the tools are, one, we have cut. If you are cutting, it means you are removing or you are moving a selected portion of your work. Keyboard shortcuts is Control plus X. We have another tool called copy. If you are copying, you are making a duplication. The keyboard shortcut, control plus C. So if you cut, if you copy, it moves into a location that is a temporal location called clipboard. So if you want to bring it back from the clipboard, what we do is that we paste. We paste and the keyboard shortcut is control plus V. We also have some other editing tools here. Find meaning you are searching for a word, then replace is also here. So here the find the keyboard shortcut is control plus F. Replace is control plus H. So you find a word and you replace it with a different word. 